4 p.m. We're finally in Australia. The flight was 10 hours on the dot. We left Hawaii literally yesterday at 8.30 a.m. And we got here the next day at like 2.30 p.m. I think just because the time change is so different. But we're in our room. This is kind of bougie. We're staying at the Four Seasons, I think because it was like not ridiculously expensive, but it's so fancy. Let me show you the room tour really quick and then we're gonna go get food. These little buttons for the do not disturb and the doorbell and the room service, these closets, and then the full length mirror and then the bathroom with the bathtub and the shower. This was the rough airplane fit today. The TV, we got two twin beds. And then when we came in, they had this little macaron for us and look how cute it is. But we have a view of the opera house, which is crazy because I literally grew up only knowing this from Finding Nemo. There it is. It's kind of like one of those things that you always kind of see, but you never actually think you're gonna end up seeing it in real life. So it's crazy we have a view. I also saw there's all of these little vendors happening down there. So I think we're gonna go and just walk around and then find some food and try and get sleep. And hopefully the transition with the jet lag is not bad then. Good morning. We just came back from breakfast. It was so good. We had this breakfast buffet here and their buffet was amazing. I'll vlog it the next couple of days because we have it for free for the whole time we're here. So we'll be back, but it was so good. They had like every type of granola. They had all these different special juices, all of this fruit. I got a cappuccino. Basically, I don't move in until just under a week now for my dorm. So I was gonna say at the beginning of this video, the traveling part for the move in part of the vlog for the dorm, the actual dorm. But but we're gonna be here for a week and we're gonna do all of the touristy stuff seeing a lot of stuff in sydney for the first time so i figured i would just vlog and make this its own separate vlog before the move-in because right now we're about to go to the zoo and see koalas and kangaroos the sun is out we also went to bed at like 9 p.m. yesterday because we were so tired but i woke up at 6 a.m. and i couldn't go back to sleep but i still technically got like a lot of sleep so hopefully we will come back to life and be revived today. The lighting's a little weird right here, but I am wearing the poser jeans and then my red high tops. I also haven't worn sneakers in forever too because we were just at the beach for like 500 years. And then <laughs> tank top is from Zara. This is my Tokidoki sweater zip up hoodie thing. And then my sunglasses from Princess Polly. I'm so excited. to the zoo we took the ferry over and it's so pretty it's also july supposed to be their coldest month and it's really not that cold yet obviously hopefully i'm not jinxing it but it's nice it's like warmer than southern california <laughs> We took the ferry back and we went and got some Thai food. I got some Pad Thai. It was so good, guys. And then my mom found this little like hole in the wall bar, except it was literally at the end of the driveway. It's called Cantina OK. So good. And the bartenders were so nice. The place was just so cute. So East Village. <laughs> The next morning, we went down for the breakfast buffet, obviously. We literally ended up knowing like all of the hostesses and waiters by name because we were just there so much. But then we took the ferry and we went to Watson's Bay and did the prettiest hike ever up to the lighthouse. 
We are at Watson's Bay now and we took the ferry over again, had breakfast this morning, so good. We're trying to get to the Hornby Lighthouse, Hornby, Hornby, and then we're gonna walk back and then we're gonna go to Manly and get lunch there. But it's so pretty out. I can't believe this is their winter because it's so nice and so green and blue and it's just, it's so pretty. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure it is, but I got like a pistachio sesame gelato. What'd you get? Macadamia cream. School closes in less than an hour, but apparently this Four Seasons has like the biggest heated swimming, outdoor swimming pool in Australia or Sydney? I don't know, one of the two. So the pool closes in less than an hour, but we came up here to swim. There's literally nobody up here because everyone is downstairs like dressed up in suits. I'm in my shorts, in my sandals. I feel like I'm dressed up for like Hawaii again. I cannot believe this was, this is like winter in Australia. It's literally warmer than SoCal and I keep saying it, but I guess I was just prepared for something else. Gonna swim really quick. We went to the grocery store and got some dinner for later because we wanted to like not leave again after we swam. So I got some sushi and yeah, there's a little hot tub. Hot tub, pool, literally private AF. Girl, where is everyone? Also, look at this. Full of free waters. Okay, besties, I'm gonna go swimming. Good morning. Today is Wednesday. We just had breakfast downstairs again. And I'm not really sure what we're gonna do today. Yesterday we saw the FIFA, is it FIFA, FIFA? That's set up because the Women's World Cup is happening here, which is kind of fun. It's like fun timing. I don't really watch that, but if I did. Today is like one of the colder days. The high is gonna be 60. It's 56 degrees right now, so a little chilly. I'm wearing a sweater today. I thrifted this. Actually during my very first week at NYU in New York, like freshman year, and it's Banana Republic. I got it from a Goodwill. Not anything crazy for the outfit today, but yeah, I have this Banana Republic. This is a heaven necklace that my best friend Emma got me for my birthday this year, which was so nice. And then I have these jeans. These are like Lucky Brand jeans. And then my white converse which are absolutely dying every time i go through a pair of converse i always get like a hole right where my big toe is so i already have one there <laughs> but yeah they're a little bit disgusting they've been in new york rain and that's about it also the barbie movie comes out here i think today or tomorrow so i think it's like earlier than the states too so hopefully we can see that soon because i'm so excited like i literally cannot wait oh my god i also just hit 32k last night too thanks besties so I had to get my phone figured out while we were here, but after doing like the phone SIM card situation, we went to Uniqlo and I found the best cargo pants ever, guys. They fit so good. They were so cute. And then I also got this cute sweater and then we were walking around and we ran into this like burger place that had been transformed into a Barbie dreamland dream burger place it was awesome you also if you got like the pink barbie burger you got cheaper movie tickets so we literally got pink barbie burgers it was amazing but i just have so many clips of this because i thought it was the funniest thing ever and i wanted to show you Feels like it's like that perfect crisp fall air. We went to some like vintage thrift stores. Now we're at Wallamaloo Bay. Make our way back to around the Botanical Garden and then the Sydney Opera House. They feel all fall and cozy. Denim on denim. 
barely <laughs> touching the floor. I don't know how she's standing. Okay. Okay, baddie. Also, the Barbie restaurant was so fabulous and so amazing. We just like happened to stumble upon it. Later that night, we ended up at the Sydney Opera House bar. It kind of felt like a tourist to do check off. It was a little chilly out, but we got this lychee sangria and then we went out for some cheap ramen. Today is also like the Australia versus, where is it? Ireland, FIFA, FIFA, I don't know, women's soccer match. There was a stand, they gave us free Cadbury chocolates for the World Cup just to take, all we had to do was take a photo of ourselves with the like cardboard <laughs> picture of the players on our own phones and they gave us free chocolates. They said this was Australia and this was Ireland. So although mine's broken now. I have showered, brushed my teeth, retainers in. I kind of stopped like vlogging these past couple of days just because it's been getting a little, like every day it gets a little bit more and more hectic trying to film everything we're doing just because we've been out all the time and it's just like carrying the camera around too is a lot. The vlogging kind of slowly went downhill. Today we went and saw the Barbie movie and it was so amazing. I'm so glad I live in a world where I'm alive for Greta Gerwig's Barbie movie. It was amazing. We barely got seats because every showing was so sold out here. And then we got amazing Thai food again. Probably the best Pad Thai I've had. And tomorrow we're waking up at 5 a.m. because we're gonna go on a like a really long guided tour for the Blue Mountains. But it stops at the Sydney Zoo and it'll be like take a boat back through the river into the harbor. I don't know. So it's this huge thing. That's tomorrow, Saturday. And then Sunday I move into my dorm already, which is crazy. It's so so weird to think that this is the fall semester that I'm moving into because I'm so used to going to New York and NYU in the fall that I like feel like it's a spring semester of my sophomore year or something. I totally am forgetting this is the beginning of my junior year. And by the time I get to New York, it'll already be halfway through. I guess I'm just gonna stop the vlog here. Tomorrow is our last full day before any dorm stuff. So I just kind of want to chill. But yeah, I guess I'll see you again when I'm moving into the dorm because I'll vlog that whole thing and everything after that. So it should be really fun. I'm really excited. And I did a little poll on my channel for what you guys wanted my abroad videos to be called and so Sydney Diaries won. So I will see you soon for our Sydney Diary vlogs. I will see you guys at the University of Sydney. Bye.